Coming up on the album blogger. Okay guys, so good evening. It's now 12.40 at it's October... It's Friday, October 9. It's actually 12.40 a.m. Um, welcome to the album blogger. I'm just gonna make a vlog about my colleagues... Muffin. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Jordan, but yeah. Um, my colleague... Oh, sorry. <clears throat> so my colleague's sister made um, a, a product <laughs> for me to try. <laughs> I'm like sweating because this is so bad. But no, no, it's not bad. It tastes, it tastes good. I tasted it already. I already ate it at the pantry and at work. And um, they wanted me to make a vlog about me eating it. You, you know me. I'm not trying to be fake. I'm not trying to be like. Um, I like genuine reactions like what you're seeing right now, but this whole studio setup that I have right now, if only you guys can see how it looks like. So this is how the packaging looks like. It says, thank you for supporting my small business. Uh, I, I cannot check the conversation, but ta-da, it's quite big. So, of course, this is something that you shouldn't be eating. Um, on midnight but literally that's like the only thing in my fridge right now so um, in order for it to be tested out to see how it actually tastes like after a few days the Jordan recommended not to microwave it but unfortunately the only thing that I have right now to heat it is a microwave and like a burner so let's see how it goes and let's see how it tastes like when it's microwave but first let's just get a bite out of this Welcome back to the album blogger. Oh, it's quite hard. Oh shoot. I don't like breaking it because it just just like cockroaches ever. Hmm. It's addicting. Yeah, it's really walnut. Definitely chocolate. But this is definitely not something you want to eat on a midnight. If you're like 35 years old, like me trying to lose weight, but damn. This is not something you want to eat. It's so good. <laughs> um, I'm not good with food blog because I literally just eat it. I was there to blog about it, it's great. So, it's like, it, that's how simple I get. It tastes good. <laughs> what do you want me to say? <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's chocolate. I mean, I could show you the ingredients. I just did anyway. So, but um, it's quite sweet when it's cold. Hmm. Funny thing is, because when I ate it the first time in the pantry, um, you can warm it up. Of course, it's, it's, it gets uh, nice and uh, juicy and soft. But since, um, in, in realistically, if you have um, customers who are, they're not gonna. They're not gonna care. They're just gonna grab like me. They're just gonna grab it from the fridge, or they're just grab it from the from the from the kitchen counter. And whether it's warm or hot or not, they're just gonna grab it and eat it. What the main point of this blog is to make sure is is the consistency the same. That's the one thing that people don't realize why products fail, because the food that they always get is um, not the same. So number one, cons consistency. That's the one thing I can say. It's the same. The texture is the same, the ingredients are the same, it's very high quality, very, um, this is like good for two, literally. But in terms of uh, presentation, also number two, still the same, um, it's, still, it's still with the chocolate. Walnut. I can't blog about it because it's good. The third one is the taste. The taste is the same. My favorite is Ray Chocolate Walnut Sweet. And 
if you were to sell this, this is very expensive because there's a lot of stuff. This would easily be like around 180 pesos. But that's cheap already. Um, I suggest if ever it's like a big cookie like this, this is what it looks like. Um, I maybe to lessen it because I, this is too expensive to sell. Unless you're actually like in a Crimson Hotel pastry thing that you know. But even then, they cut back on ingredients. So would I recommend it? Yes. I you don't know how much it's the pricing because of the packaging. There needs to be stuff about did you have to, fig to figure out the costing of the sticker, packaging, even this paper, and longevity, storage space, storage life, of how long it actually lasts in the fridge. So kudos to Jordan. Um, I'm gonna try and microwave the other half, so let's just see how it goes. Give me a few seconds. Okay, folks, so I'm just gonna break up a piece. Again, I just chew it off of it. Oops, I mean, this is thick, dude. I mean, look at that. So it's been in there for like 30 seconds and just gonna remove it. Okay, so. okay, you can hear it sizzling. Mm. That means there's a lot of oil. So when there's a lot of oil, Go try this baby out. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the microwave product. So I'm not so sure how you can see it. Ow, it's really hot. Okay, so okay. So let's see if the theory tests if it's crunchy. That's hot. I mean it, it actually breaks apart. So either there's a lot of butter or oil that they use because normally if it's just water. It gets really hard. And there's only like a 30 second. Ow, that's hot. Hmm. It's like easy made that lady, the Japanese lady from Facebook. I'm supposed to be saying something nice right now, right? But I don't know. I, I, I think I like it hard. I like it crunchier. I mean, I like the fact that. It, Look, it breaks really easily. I mean, remember, this was just like a few seconds ago where I was having a hard time removing it and that was like nearly frozen, but you can see how there's a lot of chocolate in it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. So, I know it's not the most appealing under this light, but once you guys are like up, up close to it, it's actually quite beautiful. The reason why I'm only shooting it right now I was trying to shoot it this morning and guess what happened this morning? I didn't want to do anything. I just want to get coffee, get cereal and just like meh, meh. So it's not going to be a very happy vlog basically. So, it's just different when it's warm. I like it when it's cold. It has, I can taste the flavors more. I mean, it's great. It's chocolatey, walnutty, and everything. But for me, this product is probably best when it's served cold, which is a great thing. Like one of those, you know, I'm not saying chips of Hawaiian, like Hershey's chocolate or something. But stuff that you that you would be happy to eat right off the box, no need to warm, and it's something that you don't have to like be so over the top impress your friends with anything but this is a damn good cookie cookie muffin so here's what it looks like when it breaks up there's a lot of the reason why it's, it's it breaks up so easily because there's a lot of chocolate i don't know how they're gonna price this thing but this is an expensive very expensive so yeah <laughs> the most useless bug ever, but mm. the thing is, it's actually a, mm, a good cookie and yeah, I, get, I give it a 9 out of 10 because it, it's sweet. It, it doesn't have to be too much chocolate, it doesn't have to be too much sugary. It's great on its own, but maybe less is more. So yeah, thank you to Jordan, Jordan's sister, and congratulations. Um, this is an interesting product because I intentionally left it there for like a few days 
two days? Two days. Two days, I think. Because um, you can always test an, a product and taste it right there like in the, like the previous one I had in the pantry, but it's different when you actually store it. Remember that. It's different when you store it and it's different when you actually try to do it commercially. So mm, in terms of preserving it and everything, uh, good for homemade, but for production wise, I'm not too sure how long this would last. But it's good enough to be in a freezer, to be frozen. Alright, thank you so much for watching the album blogger. I don't know if this blog has any help to you at all in terms of testing quality and everything. I mean, I did uh, baking and studying of food, international food and hospitality management in Bournemouth. But that was like what? 15 years ago? 13 years ago. But the one thing's for sure, it's food is one of the most, um, let's see, most rewarding type of business that you can do right now in the pandemic. And people like me who don't like baking stuff when they react, just shows you how good the product is or how bad the product is. But for me, this is a good product. And I'm still chewing, so thanks for watching. <laughs> I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for um, staying with me in this box. All right. Good night. Dude, this is too good. I can't. This is breakfast food.